questions for Blake. Uh, can you just talk about the chippiness of this series and, and it's really getting feisty out there and uh, you guys, they're really trying to push you guys around and you guys aren't backing down. Um, can you just talk about your response uh, with the way you guys played the last few games? Yeah, I mean, obviously uh, high emotions in a, in a conference final, but, um, you know, we've made, there's been a lot of changes on this team as far as guys that were brought in and, and guys that have stepped up and played big roles in a physical series. And, um, you know, we're not going to back down from anybody, obviously. I think we've, we've played our game, but, uh, you know, any of that extra stuff after the whistles, you know, we're not really getting too sucked into it. We just want to beat them between the whistles, and I think our team's uh, stayed focused, uh, kept with our game plan, and it's, it's, been, uh, it's been fun. Next question in the media center, Steve Wino, Associated Press. Hey, Andre, I'm, I'm just curious. I mean, five years ago, you, you stepped in uh, when Ben Bishop got injured in, in the cup final, but how much more comfortable do you feel this year than uh, compared to back then? Uh, of course, I got more, more on a good level and, uh, and all, and uh, obviously guys playing uh, really, really well in front of me, and that gives, gives me even more confidence. So uh, that, was, that was obviously rocky five years ago and now I, you know, I, I grew up and <laughs> I'm a big boy now. <laughs> we'll do two more up in the media center. Chris Johnston, Sportsnet. Hi there, question for Blake. Uh, you were on the ice uh, when the Islanders opened the score and then 15 seconds of game time later you, you score on that breakaway. What was that, the emotions, I guess, in that sequence of play for you? Yeah, I mean, obviously as a, as a player that prides myself and, and our line as well, just on being two-way guys and Reliable guys, obviously getting scored on uh, doesn't sit real well, but uh, you know credit to to Coop keeping us out there, uh, giving us the shot to go get it back, and um, you know like you said, it was a good response. Obviously a heck of a play from uh, from Gordo. I think a nice assist from Vassy as well is what I'm hearing, and uh, you know it's it's big. Anytime you can respond um, quickly in a game, it's going to swing the momentum right back, and uh, then obviously our our big boys took over from there. Last one in the media center, Rob Tichkowski, Post Media. I have a question for Blake. Uh, Braden Point wasn't out there the entire game, but he was out there long enough to make a, a big difference. Can you just uh, maybe talk about the impact he makes when he's in your lineup? Yeah, I mean, Pointer's, uh, you know, I'd go as far as to say he's the most dangerous guy in the playoffs uh, this year. He's he's a special talent. Uh, he, he tilts the ice every time he's out there, and um, anytime you have a guy like that in your lineup, you have a better chance of of winning hockey games, so uh, it's huge to have a guy like that back, and uh, I think it really elevated the rest of our games as well. Next question, Tom Galitti, NHL.com. Andre, what would you say the feeling is being one win away from going back to the Stanley Cup final? Excitement, but also kind of, you know, I don't know, what, what, how do you kind of temper that excitement? Uh, of course, I think all the guys are pretty excited to, to play for the big prize, but we have a have business to do here, and um, you know, get uh, have to win the fourth one first before uh, you know think about it. And uh, the, the fourth uh, win, it's going to be the hardest one in this series. We'll do two more questions. Joe Smith, the Athletic. Hey, Andre. I know you gave credit to the guys playing in front of you. What do you think has been some of the bigger differences of the way the guys play defensively? Especially this year, it seems like the guys have really, you know, done a good job supporting you and um, probably making it a little bit easier for you. Yeah, I uh, think we're just spending a much uh, less time in our own zone, and uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, we're just doing like just making great plays, like breakouts and stuff like that, and uh, doing uh, lots of lots of block, uh, block shots as well. So. Just guy, guys, uh, how the guys playing in uh, fearless, and uh, you know, and you see, you can see them nice, uh, sure. Last question, Diana Nieros, Tampa Bay Times. Blake, I know you addressed getting your goal uh, so quickly after they scored, but just what's the whole effect of that 27 seconds of just like, oh crap, to perfect? You know, we've we've responded perfectly. Just that swing of kind of managing. And seizing upon that momentum. Uh, I think that's been a, the beauty of our team this year, though, is 
you know, you, you give up that goal. I don't think there's many guys saying, oh, crap. I think, uh, you know, we're confident that we can come back in games. We're confident we can hold leads. Um, you know, we've played well. And uh, when you play well and, and you're taking over games, it gives you confidence to, to play in any situation. So um, with that being said, obviously, big to respond quickly. But, uh, you know, I think the, the team we have, uh, the response would have been there even without that, uh, without that goal. Uh, your goal today, you surpassed uh, Vincent LeCavalier for uh, uh, fifth all time in goals uh, for the Lightning. What is it about playoff time that seems to raise your game to another level? I mean, uh, I'm just trying to play the same way. I'm just trying to, you know, play a hard game, 200 feet, and just play hard. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just happy, you know, uh, uh, it went in a couple of goals and. Uh, yeah, you know, it's Cooch and Cooch Pointer make a, a great play. Next question in the media center, Steve Wino, Associated Press. Hey, Andrea, I'm just curious, kind of what was the, what was the team thinking when, when Brock Nelson scores, the Islanders go up, and, and kind of what was it like to have those two quick goals, and, and what's the emotion like on the bench after that? I thought we were pretty calm. Uh, you know, I know I know uh, the Annie's line is going to go out there and uh, uh, going to have a huge shift, and, you know, they scored, so... That was that was a huge momentum for us, and uh, then then we scored again. So it was it was big. Last one up top, Rob Tichkowski, Post Media. I, uh, John Cooper was talking yesterday about this team has sort of a quiet confidence that it never get it never gets rattled. Whether you you're missing a couple of guys, whether you give up a goal, where does that come from? And and what's kind of the mood in the room beforehand and on the bench when uh, the waters get a little rough? Uh, I think we're we're confident in our group. Uh, we have a ton of depth uh, in this uh, in this uh, organization, and we we trust it. So uh, uh, we have confidence in every single one of us, and I think uh, uh, it's it's a big part of the game. Eric Erlinson, Lightning Insider. Yeah, for uh, Yanni on uh, on Coleman's goal, I mean, at what point do you realize he's off to the races and you try and get the puck to them? Is there eye contact made? You just kind of catch him out of the middle of your, uh, middle of your eye, and how do you kind of see all that develop? Well, Vasi made a good play. He passed it to me, and uh, uh, I looked up ice, and um, I kind of see him full stride, so I kind of throw in an area where I, I, I think he can beat his guy, but obviously he worked out perfectly. He beat his guy, and... Uh, and uh, was able to get the puck and, and score a goal, so it was a really great effort from from him. Joe Smith, the Athletic. Hey, Yanni, Blake was just saying how you get kind of ticked off and you give up a goal as a line, and then how much did it mean did you get mean you be able to get on the line on the on the ice of the next shift after that to kind of give a chance to respond to it? Um, I think yeah, the the um, giving up that goal. I mean, uh, obviously, I'm not really happy out there uh, after that goal. I'm like. Uh, let's go back out there and, and, and try to have an ozone shift where we can uh, actually get momentum back uh, uh, right after that goal. And um, uh, we got a good bounce and it went in. And obviously, uh, like I said, Cozy made a great effort uh, uh, to score that goal. And uh, after that, with Ty. So it's, it, it was a great comeback shift. Diana Nero, Tampa Bay Times. Andre, just how much of a boost is it getting um, Braden Point back? I know you have lots of players, but just the way he's been in the playoffs, um, how much of a boost does it have him back for this game? Yeah, it's huge. It's you know he has been our best player, and he's a huge part of our team. And when he's and it, every time he's on the ice, he's he's playing great. So uh, we're very happy he he could play today, and he was great. Tom Galitti, NHL.com. Andre, what's the feeling right now? You're up 3-1, one win from getting back to the Stanley Cup final. What? How do you temper your excitement, or how do you feel? What, what's the emotions, I guess? Uh, I mean, uh, we play a great game. Uh, we need to turn a page, get ready for for next game. Uh, you know, we just need to uh, play our game, stay focused, and uh, and do what uh, makes us successful. We'll do one more in English, and then we'll do one in French for Yanni and one in Czech for Andre. Diana Nero, she can have it if you have a follow-up. Go ahead. Um, just, you know, now you guys have been in this situation up 3-1 a bunch of times, so just how much do you kind of gain some confidence just as the uh, playoffs roll on on kind of how to go into deciding game? 
I mean, uh, getting the fourth win is always the toughest. Uh, we know that. Um, so we're going to have to have our best effort out there. Uh, we're going to we're gonna need a big start, and we're going to have to keep going for 60 minutes. Uh, like I said, those wins are, are the toughest to get, and uh, uh, and so we're going to have to be ready for that. Talk about Andre Pallot and just what he brings to that line. And, uh, I mean, he passed uh, Vinny Le Cavalier tonight for uh, fifth all-time in goals. Uh, he seems to elevate his game big time come playoff time. First of all, what's the score of the Bucks game? 17-7. I didn't know you were up in the media center. What is it? 24-7 New Orleans. It's 24-4-7 what? New Orleans? New Orleans. Really? Um, okay. Platt? <laughs> is that where we're at? Uh, I thought... Um, I I've had the pleasure to coach Platt. Um, I, I guess pretty much been his only coach in, in pro. And um, he... That third goal was everything what Andre Palat is. He just he just stayed above pucks um, where a lot of guys might have skated away. He he just does all those things that are unnoticed, but lines don't survive without him. And um, there's... I've just watched it. I've, I've watched it every year. And he... Uh, he just doesn't get the attention some of the other guys he plays with gets just you know, because of the caliber players they are, but you need a plat on your line. And I'm sure guys like Cooch and Point will be the first ones to tell you um, we need a plat on our line, and, and I think that's your ultimate compliment. Next one in the media center, Steve Wino, Associated Press. Hey, John, what did it mean to have Braden Point in there, and then how tough was it to, to lose him there in the third period? Yeah, I, I, we're trying to manage him. Um, Again, I mean, he was all over it. He was in on everything and um, setting up goals, scoring goals, and he's a big part of our team. And um, it, but you, we, we have to manage, you know, him. And so um, it's you know we just it's the playoffs, and uh, these guys are playing hard, hard minutes. And, and you, know, you watch the intensity in these games, and they just keep increasing with every. Uh, every game that's played and every round that's played and it's no different in this series it's it's a tough series and and um, I'm sure you know guys are on both teams are you know are, are having to fight through things next one up top Chris Johnson Sportsnet hey John can you just take us into your decision making uh, when you kept the gourd line out there after they were on the ice when for the Islanders first goal and then obviously uh, delivered one for you guys right after yeah I, I, I'm not a big believer in just because you got scored on, you know, go to the bench and think about it. Like, get out there and get it back. Now I can't sit here and say I thought they'd get it back in 15 seconds or whatever it was, but uh, it's it's a game. It's not a shift. And those guys have a job to do, and I want them to go do it. And, and part of my job is to make you know make sure they've got the confidence to go do their, do their job. And I have full confidence in them. And in they delivered, and that was a obviously a huge goal for us. Diana Neros, Tampa Bay Times. Um, just how big uh, was having point back in this game? I know you've got lots of talented players, but just the way he's been playing in the playoffs. I, I don't know how else to answer that question. I mean, if any team had a chance to put Braden Point in their lineup, what do you think they'd say? And so we were, uh, we were glad to have him back. Tom Glitty, NHL.com. Can you clarify if you had you been able to play after that? You just told him on the bench as a precaution after that, that way after he came off with about nine minutes left there, or whatever it was. Or... Oh, gosh. I don't. I, that game's, oh, you know, two days away. So let's, uh, let's give us a, a breath here and circle back uh, come game time in two days. Mike Tracos, Post Media. Hey, John, uh, I know a lot of attention's on uh, Tampa Bay's top line, but the job you guys have done against uh, the Islanders' top unit where they just have one goal uh, so far in the series, um, what's the secret behind that and how key is that uh, for where the series is right now? I don't know. It's, it's hard to judge. Like, 
and they may only have one goal, but <clears throat> they're still a pain in the ass to play against. And they, you know, they've got some, they're, they're kind of built in similar way as we are. And you've got, it's, I think it can be frustrating uh, when you're used to getting points and you're not getting the time and space. And that's like, it's all you can really ask for is, you know, when you play the Bergeron line in Boston, you got to take away their time and space. And when you're going to play Barzell or Nelson or, you know, some of these guys, you have to take away their time and space. And, and then in the end, you need your goaltender to come up big when there's a, uh, when there's a breakdown and, and, and that's happened. So, um, we're not, we're not doing anything special. We're just sticking to our game plan and doing the things we need to do to have success. And, um, you know, I like what's going on with us and, and the more we can keep them off the score sheet, the better for us. Take a few more for coach Paul Strzewski, NHL.com. Uh, hi, John. Uh, we touched on yesterday on how well you guys respond to losses throughout the playoffs, never losing two in a row. Uh, how big of a role do you think uh, point being able to come back today uh, was in the way that you guys responded uh, to the yeah. loss in the paint? Yeah, I, I mean, it, guys in the, in the locker room, the point doesn't say too much, but they look up to him, especially the, the way he plays the game, and he, he plays the game the right way. And, you know, to see guys fight back and be in the lineup, um, and, and it's, it's just not point. It's, it's a lot of guys in that room. It's, uh, it's pretty uplifting.